alone in the cockpit, the voice recorder capturing the sound of his breathing and the pressing of buttons, 28-year-old co-pilot Andreas Lubitz said nothing as he brought the plane down. We now know that the captain was banging on the cockpit door trying to get back in, but there was no response. The crash that claimed 150 lives here in the Alps was a deliberate act. That shocking revelation was made by French prosecutor Bryce Robin, who told a stunned press conference the co-pilot set out to destroy the plane. A refusé d'ouvrir la porte de la cabine. The co-pilot refused to open the door to the captain and pressed the button which caused the plane to lose altitude. Families of the victims were given that news before it was made public. They visited the crash site where rescue teams held flags to honor the dead from so many different countries. The parents of the co-pilot were here earlier but returned to Germany. We learnt today that this cockpit voice recorder captured the audio of the scene at the door, but no sense of wider panic. It appears then that as the plane descended towards these mountains, even if some passengers had noticed a form of commotion or something unusual towards the cockpit door, they had no idea what was about to happen. Because we're told on that voice recorder, you only hear screams at the very last moment. With police now at Andreas Lubitz's home in Germany, people who knew him through a local flying club have been speaking. He was a very nice young man, a lot of fun, perhaps sometimes a bit quiet, but he had a lot of fun. The airline said this afternoon that Lubitz had passed all medical tests and was 100% fit to fly. They called today's news a tragic turn and said, we were already shocked and appalled. We can't believe it would get even worse. In the clear blue, high above the Alps, other passenger planes cut through the sky, the path Flight 9525 should have taken. Below them, the work of the search and recovery helicopters is now in its third day. But the focus of this investigation is now centered fully on Andreas Lubitz, amid emerging local reports that he may have been suffering from depression.